Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rentalian, and welcome back to Grim Tales Echo of the Past. This is Act 6, when we last left off. We are in the middle of this. Got that wrong. Okay with that dead end. Okay, that was one too many. That was pretty good, actually. We are making progress. Ooh, one short. Okay. This should work, I think. Boom! Got it. Pesticide and a silver turtle. The plants have grown over some items. This requires some chemical assistance. I'm sure there's some natural pesticides you can do.
probably need glue or something like that. Or makeshift glue. Easy peasy. Carriage house. A step. Nothing here for that, so... Forward. Oh. His carriage is glowing. Icy staff. But this is before he got into magic, isn't it? Well, here. His mother had been a mage beforehand. No doubt some useful things are stored there. I better try to saw through the lock. Okay. Animals don't always freeze as people do when I visit the past, which can be frustrating. I'll see if I can feed and water it. That might calm it down. A lot of hay has been piled up and there's something underneath it. I wonder what's the conditions of... An animal freezing and an animal not freezing. Can't remember the last time I saw an animal frozen, though. The puppeteer is definitely trying to achieve his dream. I need to help him so his resentment and anger will disappear. Puppet show of a young talent, you would not be disappointed. This chain is stuck in the barbed wire. I won't get it with my bare hands. This is actually kind of cool. The first time I've done something like this. Okay, I'm missing one more piece of chain. can't see it. <laughs> okay. Where? Wow, I'm being super blind right now. I'm sure of it. That's always annoying when there's that one item I can't see. There are some older hidden object screens where the item, if you don't click them in a certain way, you can actually have a hard time not due to a glitch, not catch the other item. Or sometimes they're off-screen due to old frames and stuff like that. Not really designed for newer computers. And, and... Oh, I didn't want to use a hint for this. It should be somewhere really obvious, too, given I'm not seeing any ch changes in my mouse. Well, not obvious, but out in the open. It was mainly buried under here. Well, at least I saved myself from using the hint.
the groom's unusual knot is very tight. The horse is not happy right now. Perhaps some water will soothe it. Only some of that water just didn't look that great. I honestly wouldn't have offered the horse that much hay, simply due to the fact that you don't want to overfeed the horse. And you don't know how much that horse has been fed already. Just a handful should get it over to the stall, to the door of the stall. Lara's dressing room? Oh wait, let's do this first. Yep, we're good. Aha! Here's the source of all trouble. I didn't even have to search. The grate is locked from the inside. Lars definitely has a way to open it, but I don't- but I think I can magnetize the lock. His mother doesn't seem to be happy with her son's hobby, but in any case, she helps him a bit in a magical and dishonest way. I still cannot accept your performance, my son. They are beneath you, but when you feel that your great performances are not appreciated, Use this cane. No one dares to belittle you in your creativity. Ah. So it was a case, also a case of mom not thinking it was a good job to do. And the fact people didn't really like what he was doing just discouraged him further. But with the pattern of the vases and the filling of the second vase suggests there's a bouquet for the young puppeteer is required for here. Bleh. Tongues! Not sure what I'm doing with that, but okay. Oh, there's a magnet I needed. I get you, I get you, I get you. That's what you're for. So instead of a curse and oh it's cuz the lettering okay okay So instead of casting curses he's going to just cast blessings maybe I'm not sure how we're going to do this But that explains how we'll fix it, because the problem here is he wasn't skilled enough of a performance to impress the crowd. And there's not much we can really do about that, but if we give him a nice sort of magic to spice up his show, people will really like that. He invited Lars as if wishing to advance to make fun of his diligence creativity. The owner wanted to amuse a guest, so he invited a boy with worn-out puppets to his son's party. It'll be fun, but it, more importantly, cheap. So, the whole point of it was to make fun of him. Can we really see why he cursed all of you into puppets?
Open Mars Heart. Okay. Okay, you're confusing me. I get you, I get you. Yeah, that it's not that's not just the case of didn't give a good performance, it was the fact they specifically brought him here to make fun of him. They didn't even care about how good he or bad he was. It was just more a case of he has worn out puppets, and he's poor, and they just wanted to make fun of him. But let's change that. Wait, so what happened to Lars? There was a little puppet shaped just like him. Did we turn him into a puppet? Th I thought the whole idea was to redeem him. I mean, that wouldn't make sense to, to turn him into a puppet. Well, kind of would. That would be one way to do it, but that's not what we were trying to do. But, okay. Maybe we'll have some explanation in the bonus chapter. But that's gonna have to wait till next time because this is Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to know if I went upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye bye.